Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me. I've got a few products that are not new, but they're new to me that I want to test out today. Mostly new Maybelline products that I've been meaning to try out for a while, like the mascara that I showed you in my declutter video that I hadn't opened. So today is the day to test out those products and to let you guys know what I think. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe if you aren't already. I post a new video every single week and let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start off with my Too Faced Hangover Primer. I have been really enjoying this when my skin's feeling a little bit dry or when I know I want to wear my makeup for an entire day. I know when I did my first impressions on this, I said that I didn't think it was worth the money unless you had like really dry skin, but mm, now that I have it and I've been using it most days, I do actually really like it. By the way, if you hear jingling every now and then, um, my cat is in the room and she's got little bells on her collar. For foundation, I'm going to stick with my Lee Wally BB Cream. This is probably one of my favorite base products to use. I just know that I love it and therefore it's gonna be really easy to tell whether or not I like the other products that are going on top. I thought about making this a full face first impressions video, but if you try too many new products at the same time, it's really hard to tell which ones of them are the ones causing the problems if you have areas that don't look good. So I thought it would just be better to um, just try a few new products and stick to ones that I know for the rest of my face. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Again, this is an old product that I know I love. Okay, so for the first new product that I'm testing out, I picked up the Maybelline Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. I have been using the e.l.f. Under Eye Loose Setting Powder for the last year or so and I really, really like that. So I thought I'd try another loose setting powder because so far the e.l.f. one is the only one I've tried. So let me just get the sellotape off. I probably should have opened these products up before I started filming. I'm going to use this to set under my eyes as well as my entire face. And I'm not going to be able to give you a review immediately because it'll depend whether or not my concealer creases through the day. I can probably tell you by the end of the video because normally if it's going to crease it'll crease within 20 minutes or so. It definitely doesn't look drying under my eyes so let's use it on the rest of my face. I've never used a loose powder to set my face before, I've only used it to set my concealer. It is kind of going everywhere but I guess that's to be expected. It doesn't feel completely set but it looks really nice. Hopefully that will set down a little bit more in the next couple of minutes because it, it still just feels like by touching it, I'm going to rub the foundation off. Anyway, for eyeshadow primer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And then for my brows, I'm going to be using the shade Espresso from the Lorac Pro Palette. And as always, I'm going to use the Maybelline Brow Drama to set that in place. Okay, for eyeshadow, I thought I'd use the ColourPop Yes Please palette. I know you've seen me use this in a video before, but I thought I'd use some shades that I haven't tried yet. For example, this yellow shade down here I've never touched, so I thought today would be the right time. Anyway, I'm going to start with this shade here, which is called Full Zip, and I'm going to use that to set my eyeshadow primer. I'm going to take a bit of Champs and use that to start as my transition shade. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of GNO, which is this shade here, and use that as my crease shade. Okay. 
Okay, let's do it. I'm going to take this yellow shade right here, which is called Mischief, and I'm just going to pack this all over the lid. This is such a scary color. And I'm going to go right on top with this gold shade here, which is called Butter Cake. I do actually quite like how the yellow looks on its own, but I just want to test out another shade that I haven't tried as well. Ooh, this shade actually looks very chunky on my brush. Hopefully it doesn't look like that on my eyes. I don't think it's giving a lot of pigment, I think it's just kind of adding a shimmery effect to the yellow underneath. Very pretty though, I like this. I just, I feel like this gold shade would not be very good on its own, I don't think it has a lot of pigment. I do also have a little bit of fallout from that gold shade. So the gold is not my favourite and on its own I don't think it would be very good, but on top of the yellow I still quite like how it looks. I'm going to go back into that first shade and use that to highlight my inner corner and brow bones. It's a little bit pinky toned, but it's just the lightest shade that's in the palette. Alright, it is time for the next new product, which is this Maybelline Mascara. This is the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express. So, let's open it up. I don't even know what the wand looks like on this. Okay, there we go. The um, the handle is, is quite a weird shape, it like bubbles almost. Anyway, I'm really hoping that this mascara is good because I really need more mascaras that I like. Okay, that's not bad at all. So this eye has no mascara on it, and this one does. Okay, so finally I have found another mascara that I actually like. It's made my lashes look thicker than they are naturally and very, very black. And this is just with one coat as well. I don't like to build up my mascaras. I don't know why. I just find it really difficult to apply mascara on top of mascara. I find it catches a lot and it just makes them look really clumpy. So with one coat, I really like this mascara. I am going to use my Too Faced Sun Bunny Bronzer. This is just a little mini size, which is why it's in different packaging. And then for blush, I thought I'd just go with quite a neutral toned blush today. So I'm using Rosewood from Natio. And it's just started raining outside. So even though I'm doing like a super kind of summery look, it's really not summery weather right now. For highlighter, I'm gonna use Mary Luminizer from The Balm. And then for my last new product, I have a setting spray. This is my first setting spray that I've ever purchased. I think I've only used setting spray once before. I think Melody might have sprayed me with some one time. And that was after applying my makeup with no mirror anyway, so my makeup didn't look great to begin with. Yeah, this is basically the first time I'm ever trying setting spray and I'm really nervous. I'm really worried that my mascara is just going to run instantly. So this is the Maybelline Master Fix Wear Boosting Setting Spray. Okay, I'm nervous. Oh, I don't even know if I was meant to shake it. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's start by getting some product up first. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can feel lots of little water droplets. It's not a very fine mist at all. Oh, shake well. I was meant to shake it. Huh. Eight to ten inches away from face and close eyes. Oh, you Spray know four to six times. I don't want to. Do it. Well, my mascara hasn't run. Oh yeah. My face is set now, so I don't know if it was the powder or this, because I forgot to check before this, but something worked. 
Okay, so it's not as scary as I thought. I don't like the mist particularly, but at least it doesn't make my makeup run, so that's okay. And of course I was gonna flinch the first time I ever used a setting spray, so I'm sure I'll get used to it. And for the final touches, I'm going to be using my Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. I have mine in the shade 05. And this is the finished look. I'm actually really pleased with all of the new products that I tried today. The Maybelline Master Fix Loose Powder, I do like because at the end of my makeup, like I said, my concealer has normally creased by now if it's going to, and it hasn't. The mascara I really, really like, which is amazing because I've been looking for a new mascara for a really long time now. And the setting spray, like I just said, it's not my favorite in terms of mist, but it does a good job. I, obviously, I can't tell you yet whether or not my makeup's going to last longer than it normally would, but it applied okay. And I don't have any other setting sprays to compare it to, so I can't really give you a proper review of it just yet until I've tried a few others. Hey guys, just a very quick update from the end of the day. Um, I just wanted to say that the powder actually has made my face look really incredibly dry. I do like it under the eyes, it has stopped my concealer from creasing and it doesn't look dry under the eyes, but it does look very very dry on the rest of my face. So I'm still really really pleased with the mascara, it's held up really well. It is 9 o'clock at night now, so I've been wearing it for like a full day. And I've been out all day as well. So the mascara has held up really well. The powder doesn't look good on my face. Like I said, I'm still going to use it to set my concealer, but it's just not a full face thing for me. And the setting spray, I still just don't know what to think because setting sprays are meant to make your face look less dry, right? I don't know. Maybe I'll spray a little bit more on now and see if it helps with the dryness. Yeah, so actually the setting spray does help, which is a good thing, however it obviously doesn't make it last all day because otherwise I wouldn't have had this problem in the first place. Anyway, end of update. And I'm also really pleased with how my eyeshadow turned out. Like I said, the gold shade in the Yes Please palette is not my favourite, but on top of the yellow I think it looks really nice. So that is going to be it for today's video, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye!